Welcome to episode 3 of the Kerbal Space Program and these contracts. Um, designed a ship that hopefully will enable me to get some of these contracts out of the way and also get me um, a little bit of idea of how some of these recoveries um, can work. So I've added some parachutes onto some of the um, items that will drop which hopefully will fire off at the same time as discarding them and see whether they will land safely and then we'll see whether we recover them for a cost because this ship is costing us fifteen and a half thousand so first of all, what's going to happen is the outer three solid rocket boosters are going to fire then the next stage will disconnect those three fire the three parachutes one on each one and then fire the middle solid rocket booster hopefully that will achieve the uh, radial mount uh, uh, radio decoupler then the radial mount parachute which are these ones up here I'm planning on firing off a little bit later on um, roughly at the same time as this one which hopefully I'll be able to fire them off at the same time so both parachutes at the top there Stack decoupler has got to go at 22,500 feet, so that will be hopefully either that one or that one, depending on what height I get to. Let's see if I can just get some of these done, and hopefully every component will uh, drift nicely down to to uh, the planet and be recovered for recover the cost. So that's uh, 15,600 cost of the uh, of the ship and let's see how much of it gets recovered Ooh, there it goes, right turn that on first of all throttle up open the contracts so that one's just going to land hopefully it will and the ones I need to worry about let's just go to the bottom first so. Right, we're not going to make all, but it's only going to be a sub auto flight. Um, that parachute uh, will be later. Stack decoupler at that point there, I think. I'm hoping that these three all go at the same time. Oh, you can make that longer. Well, that's good. So the rest of them will look after themselves. It's these three items that hopefully I'll be able to get them within an operating window, which is the same. Because that's maximum 32, maximum 28, and 28. So we should be able to do them roughly all at the same time, because we, if we get the speed right. So let's see what we do. Wish me luck. Let's hope I've got all the staging right. Ah, 
disconnected at this point. I think what we did there, yeah, we, need, we need that fuel to run out as well. Can't control it now, nothing I can do. Because we're not attached, but we had to detach at the right time. Let's just move more towards water again. fuel has now run out that hopefully will drift down to earth and we'll turn our SAS off hopefully slow enough that's dropping a bit faster than I'd like but still hopefully that will catch the earth's atmosphere slow it down and be recovered that's the liquid fuel so as long as that lands we'll see what happens there So, Jeb's floating back down to earth, nice and slowly. It's going to splash down to earth in a nice wet water landing, which will enable us to get a bit more of a uh, bit more science as well from what once we're there. I don't know whether these are going to land properly or not, but we will find out. I have a feeling that they won't, to be honest. Do need that liquid fuel engine to land. That's why I put all the parachutes on it. Whether the system actually counts a landing that we're in or not is another matter. Oh, we are catching that up. Oh, are your parachutes opened? Yes, yes, they've opened. So as we're floating back down to earth, um, one of my friends, Simon, he, he's got this, this uh, game as well and we've entered a uh, little bit of a challenge of who can uh, get a Kerbal to the moon and return him safely back to Kerbin. Um, who can do that first? And we're going to do that in game time, so I think we're like 30-40 minutes in to the game time. Um, maybe slightly more than that now. Uh, in this particular playthrough so we'll see where we are. I know he said he's already done an orbit but I don't know how much of the other science he's picked up or how far through his game time he is so uh, I'll try and keep you up to date with that um, and hopefully he'll be able to keep me up to date with where he is and we'll see whether we can uh, um, see whether we're, we're ahead of him or behind him so 200 meters, 240, 230 meters to drop. That wouldn't speed up the game time at the moment because then the physics sometimes breaks and some of these things might might get damaged. So that one's floating down. I'm not sure whether the canopy's opened on the uh, solid rocket boosters over there. Um, that looks like that's intact. That hasn't changed to land, did they? So 
and that's a shame because that means that the radial decouplers won't have changed to landed either and that just means that that wasn't a perfect mission when it was uh, pretty close to okay so we have splashed down let's observe the mystery goo in the water uh, crew report let's do an EVA EVA report surface sample I'm not sure he's going to be able to get back in, is he? Oh, we just have to recover the vessel. So we gained 15.2 science from surface sample and um, the report from curving water. No parts. 14 reputation for getting him back and then we'll go to the oh, tracking station and see whether any of this picking up any of this debris will help recover so that gives us a crew report mystery goo observation and recovery of a vessel that survived a flight and it's another 8.3 um, so we got the command module recovered the top parachute mystery goo container two radial parachutes and the monopellant so that is 3000 back into the funds and there's no more objects to pick up Okay, well, that's something we've learned then. That's disappointing. Oh, right. oh, here we go. Oh, where is it? Flash down the brake. And we'll recover that. Didn't give us a report about it being recovered. Still reporting one piece of debris. I don't know where that is. Maybe it needs to come out, go back in again to refresh. Yeah, no debris. Okay, um, so that means that anything that detaches oh, from yeah. the main craft. You don't get your money back for, and you don't get your science for. By the look of things, um, <coughs> did that before did that before. Uh, mostly done before, and that one's done before. So radio mount parachute in flight achieved that one. So we got the uh, prestige and stuff for that. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. uh, stack decoupler in flight. That one did that as well. And the Mark 16, the top parachute, we did that one. Still got the liquid fuel, even though we landed it. But we've got to have it attached to a command module by the looks of things to land it. And a um, radial decoupler landed where all our radio de uh, decouplers were were ejected. No, it says landed complete. So I've tested it. In the area they wanted us to test it, and have landed it. So what more do you want? Don't know. Maybe a little bug there, perhaps. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The LV909 liquid fuel engine in flight. We're not yet ready for that one. Separate the Tron. Launch stability enhancer. Oh yeah, that's the grab on things. 
don't think I've got those yet. And the rock uh -huh. under, so we haven't got those yet. We will use that. So that's got one day, so that's fine. So grab that one for next time. Expires in two days, so that's fine. Um, okay, so um, we're going to leave it there. Um, that's going to need a slight redesign of the ship to be able to bring home some of the uh, things. So uh, that's the parachute in flight, the other parachute in flight. Let's see, we got the uh, we got money and science and prestige for for that one, and this one we just got prestige and money. And finally, the stack dig coupler. So we got those: the science, and the prestige, and uh, and some more money. So we're at uh, ninety-one thousand, plenty of prestige, and uh, a good amount of science to spend on stuff. Radial dig coupler landed, liquid fuel engine landed, but unfortunately it doesn't count them. So that would have been perfect. So uh, join me next time once I've designed a ship that will allow us to bring the radial decoupler and sorry, radial decoupler and the liquid fuel engine back down to earth uh, or turbine safely. Thanks for watching.